There's a verse in Matthew 7, 1 and 2 that says this, Judge not. Judge not that you be not judged. For with the judgment that you judge others, that's how God's going to judge you. That is an incredibly sobering idea. That if I am not capable of forgiving, if I am not capable of dealing with you in mercy and grace, God's not going to deal with me in mercy and grace. There is a story that emphasizes this point found in Matthew 18. I want to tell it to you very quickly. There are three people in the story. There is the king, and then there is the king's servant. He is servant A, we'll call him. In fact, we'll give him a name. His name is Al. Al also has a servant. And his servant is servant B, and we'll call him Bob. So you have the king, and you have Al, and you have Bob. And you have a hierarchy of power. power. So here's what happens. Al gets into debt to the king. It is a incredible debt. It says 10,000 talents in the Bible, but what it's basically, the point is trying to make, it is a debt he could not pay. There was no way he could ever pay it. We don't know how he got it, but he got into debt and he could not pay it. He comes before the king and the king says, pay up. And he says, I can't do it. Please show mercy. Give me more time. And the king looks at him and says this, look, you know you're not going to be able to pay your debt, and I know you're not going to be able to pay your debt. But I'm going to forgive your debt. I'm going to deal with you in forgiveness and mercy. You can get up and leave. And he thanks the king, and he goes out, and Al is having a great day. But Al also has servants. And Al has a servant by the name of Bob. And Bob, in modern day, he might owe Al a thousand dollars. And it is payday and Bob comes in and he can't pay it either. And Al said, where is my money? And Bob said, just give me a little more time, I can probably pay it. Al says, no way. I'm not giving you more time. I'm going to put you into debtor's prison until you can pay your debt. And that's what he does. Word gets back to the king. And the king is furious. And he calls Al in and he said, You wicked servant. You owed me so much you will never be able to repay it. And I forgave you. And here you got Bob who owes you a thousand dollars. Probably could repay it if you gave him a little more time. And you put him in prison. I am now going to put you in prison and torture you and sell your wife and sell your children until your debt is paid. Here's what you need to understand. The king is God. And you are Al. You owe God a debt you can never repay. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. There is none righteous. Every one of you owe a debt to God you cannot pay. And God has decided to deal with you in mercy and forgiveness. And He said, I'm going to let you off the hook. In fact, I'm going to come in the form of Jesus and I will pay your debt for you. And now you go out into the world. And every one of you at some time in your life will run across a Bob. There is someone that will do you injustice. There is someone that will do something against you that will cause you to burn with anger. Be careful. Be careful when you decide not to deal with people in forgiveness and mercy. Just think what God has forgiven when it comes to you. And if you do not deal with others in mercy and forgiveness, God said He is going to use your standard as He judges you when you stand before the King.